gotta find more places like this. In this video, a subscriber gives me the ultimate tour around some of Germany's most underrated cities and everything I experienced changed my life forever. I'm actually heading to the train station right now because we got a lot to do today, man. Wuppertal, Essen, Dusseldorf. This is what the trip's been about, aside from Gamescom. <laughs> so I'll see you guys soon, man. All right, so Deutsche Bahn round two, man. Um, catching the train to Essen first, because you know we got an Essen, Essen, and Essen. But I just met Fabi here at the train station, man. He's coming with me. Um, this is kind of what the platform looks like and stuff at, K at Kuhn. You can see the Kuhn Dome from, through the glass up there. And this is kind of like the train station. You get like a whole bunch of trains kind of parked and like waiting or whatever. I had to stop by the Rive really quick and like get myself a smoothie, dude. You guys have smoothies are fire, dude. I mean, we got smoothies obviously in the States as well, but they're just different. Bro. First and foremost, uh, my morning routine was pretty awesome out there in Germany. Every morning I would wake up, I would go to the Rive and I would get a smoothie and a pastry and it was the most relaxing feeling ever. It was the best way to start my day. Those fruit smoothie things, I forgot what they're called, but it's, it's gonna be on the screen. Absolutely delicious. Like there's a lot more like sodium and shit in our stuff. It just tastes different here, man. So I don't know. It, it's it's good. I had that in like a like a pastry, right? Like a bagel from like uh, the bakery and the grocery store. Um, bakery video coming soon though. All right, so uh, we're on the train. It's quiet as fuck. Yeah, we're taking this to Essen. Finally, bam! It was so quick. And this is like the first train that's on time. Nuts. In fact, I think it got here a little early. Is it 49 yet? Bro, it got here a little early. What the fuck? <laughs> Crazy. Oh, the other trains I've taken were like way too late, bro. All of them. And then this one's the first one on time. So I'll see you guys in Essen. So I'm not sure if you guys can see this, but we're outside the uh, Essen Hop Bahnhof, dude. Uh, about to go on this awesome tour and see more of the city and stuff. I've never been here before, but it's it already looks like a lot more like a lot smaller and stuff, which is fine. Um, more of like a like a small city vibe, you know. So uh, basically, bro, we had like a little bit of an issue already. I was waiting for this to happen, right? Uh, <laughs> we basically got yelled at. <laughs> for filming this guy a taxi driver walked up to us and he's like do you have a permit to film he's saying this all in german obviously and of course i didn't have the right words to say so i'm like dead silent and like fabi over here he's like you don't need a permit bro like you weren't the main subject of the video and dude was just going crazy on us man he's like Ugh. Like you, like you need a permit, you kept going like this. Permit, dude, where's your permit? Where's your permit? And I'm like, oh man, bro, this is, this is about to be an interesting day. Yeah, that was <laughs> a little shock, a, a, a culture shock I expected a lot sooner. But I think because we started off in Cone and there's so many YouTubers and streamers there, it wasn't as likely for somebody to call us out for filming, but yeah, 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 for sure. Hi, bro, yeah, yeah. he's the best name. Subscribe, <laughs> like, follow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, everybody, so we are here in Essen. This is like the, is this like the Innenstadt of like, Essen or like, oh my gosh. Um, we're pretty much gonna like kind of tour like Essen and everything and kind of see like, you know, what there is to do and everything. It does seem a lot quieter here, like compared to Kun, like it's a lot quieter and stuff. <laughs> but it seems more chill, like it seems way more chill, you know? What's up? This is the Essen Dome, and uh, it looks beautiful. We're getting like a tour, like pretty much of what this is, and I guess the importance of it and stuff like that. But to me, bro, it looks nice. It looks nice. This whole area just seems very peaceful. I feel like I can like sit here and study or read books and stuff, or like draw in peace and stuff, man. Like it's it's amazing. So we're inside the dome, man. Oh my god, look. <laughs> this is so cool. What? at the Essena Dome Garden and as you can see like bro, it looks so like peaceful yeah this looks like a mini castle like a palace almost I feel like weird being in here like oh my god this is insane what dude what so I guess they have like a mini like fountain and stuff over here too um 
We've seen a fountain kind of like this in Aachen. So there's a beach like right behind Poppy <laughs> and right behind me that I guess people in Essen decide to build in the middle of Essen. That's like, that's huge. <laughs> So, you know, like you said, people like come out here to drink and stuff and like relax and everything. It looks amazing. You know, the only thing it's missing is Vasa. You know what I mean? Like Lea or the uh, Ansi or the uh, Anea. This is so cool, especially after having just come from Florida and seeing that, like, <laughs> it's so different. Also, like, uh, do you have like a place where we could go for like food later and stuff like that? Essen and Essen. Let's go. But this is so beautiful, the whole thing. And the, oh, the playgrounds that they were talking about. Like, I guess Americans like talk about how like they're, they might look a lot more dangerous, but they're not, you know what I mean? Like, so we uh, decided to take a quick little break in Essen and we're about to eat some Essen in Essen. And actually you're probably wondering, Welches Essen will we will uns Essen? Cafe Galateri. This, <laughs> this one. So yeah, we're gonna be, you know, getting some some ice cream, a little bit of nice, you know, something to say, oh, 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 I can't talk, man. I don't know what's wrong with me, but today I can't talk. So basically we're, we're gonna get something nice for our palate, right? We were walking around in the hot sun all day, but it was worth it because every single thing that I've seen has been beautiful. Also, some of you guys have been coming up and greeting me in Essen, bro. That's crazy. And it's, and it's always impressive seeing the different age ranges of people that watch the channel. So thank you guys, seriously. I'm gonna keep saying thank you for all of you guys that keep coming up and asking to take pictures and telling me more about the place that I'm in and stuff. Thank you, it really means a lot. Keep doing that, because I need to learn, right? And um, Last thing I'll say is this area that we walked through, super modern. All the buildings are very modern looking. They look a lot older in Köln, but here in Essen, they look a lot more like, I don't know, like futuristic and stuff, stylish. So that's kind of the vibe. It's, well, I guess we're gonna eat some ice cream and kind of just chill and vibe and that's it, man. I'm, I'm on a bike. This is, this is the first time in like, like 15 years or something. Fuck, dude. Ugh. Hold on. Oh my god. <laughs> Hold on. I gotta get used to this. Bro, I have not been on a bike in a long time. This feels so peaceful. What? People do this all the time here? This is crazy. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, I fucking love it, man. I didn't think I'd be this comfortable on a bike, but all those days at Peloton Fitness paid off, man. Shout out to them. <laughs> the spin bike classes, man. Oh, are these raspberries? It's like. <laughs> all right, well, I guess I'm about to eat this berry. If you don't see me in like, you know, three months, you know what happened right here on this video. Bobby, you know what to do. Uh. Oh, this is a. It's a blackberry. Yeah. They, they grow blackberries here? That's so cool. What? <laughs> That's so cool. Dude, this is where blackberry... Dude, look at this. Mm. So good, dude. Dude, amazing. Shout out to her for like, you know, showing us this path and everything. Like, I mean, like I'm, I'm doing things I never thought I'd be doing, okay? <laughs> this is crazy. Biking, I, I, the last time I biked, I was 12, dude. And now I'm 28 years ancient. I'm old, my, my, my back doesn't work the way it used to. And I'm, 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 over, I'm over here biking and stuff, man. I'm like, I feel like, I feel like a kid again. <laughs> this, this is like awakened my, my youth, I guess, right? Like. <laughs> I'm not that old, but I, I always say I'm a dinosaur, so I'm a dinosaur, dude. T-Rex Bray. <laughs> Yo, so look at where she took us. This is like, this is beautiful. I'm speechless. I can't, I can cry right now, man. First of all, the bike ride was intense. I loved it. It was beautiful, like very relaxing. At first I had to try to find my, my balance, but you know, like I said, I, the last time I rode a bike, I was 12. Um, it wasn't too bad, dude. And honestly, there's a lot of cool stuff to look at on the way here and everything. 
Biking culture is a little different though, man. I'm not gonna lie, it's a little intense. I thought that once we hopped on the bike, we would become part of the bikers, but people are still a little angry <laughs> when they're on the bikes, man. It's almost like driving, you know? It's like, oh, if I'm in a car, there's no way people will get mad at me until you drive slow and everybody's honking at you, you know what I mean? So um, it was still really cool, man. Very, very cool. Uh, very scenic route to this place. And now you have this beautiful, like, look at, in the distance. I'm not sure what that is. That's not the SNO Dome, is it? Oh, a different church. That looks so cool though. I mean, honestly, come on. <laughs> and then like this, it's a little like, it's a lake. Do you guys lake off Deutsche Gear? Is that like? Kind of Z, oh yeah, it's like a pond, pretty much. It's like a little pond. It's very peaceful though, man. This is a beautiful spot. We gotta find more places like this. <laughs> I'm not gonna cry on camera, but like, damn, dude. Look at this, look at this. This is so cool. <laughs> Yeah, she showed us all the like the coolest spots here, man. And a lot of you guys, like I said, were complaining before that I was in the city too much and I didn't get to see more of nature. So she made sure that we're, we're seeing as much of nature as we possibly can out here right now, man. Like, and it's like, this is so cool. Like, this is like, okay, so the, my only experience with any of this is GeoGuessr. I'm gonna keep referring to GeoGuessr because <laughs> the, the smaller areas kind of look like this. I mean, they look even a little bit more rural, right? Like more shrubbery and stuff like that. And, even less residential places but as far as the the height of the buildings and stuff goes too they're about this height and it's pretty cool it's quiet it's very relaxing and stuff i feel like my voice carries a lot out here man like and in cone not so much unless i was in the dome <laughs> so you'd hear me like citywide but here bro like i feel like me talking like this the guy across the pond could probably hear me <laughs> so much fun getting here man like the bike ride um, we had spaghetti ice earlier. Well, we just had ice cream in general. I had spaghetti ice because I'm obsessed with it, but I'm speechless. I mean, this is like a, a scene that has probably a thousand words in it, man. I mean, there's, there's not much I can say that you guys won't get just by looking at this, you know? The thing is, for, for me, what's blowing my mind, I didn't realize how huge bike culture was. I mean, I knew it was big, but then being a part of it for even a, a, a small, minute minute, dude, was like life-changing. I'm gonna come back and be mind blown. Like my whole lifestyle is gonna change. I'm gonna probably buy a bike and ride it around in areas that probably shouldn't be because of here. <laughs> and this is a bikeable place for sure. There's so many bike lanes and whatnot. The one thing I was scared of is biking in traffic because I'm like, uh, <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> All right, so finished riding our bikes around Essen. That was the most magical experience I've ever had since being out here and stuff, man. What the heck? Like, I didn't realize that's what I needed in my life. So I guess now we're gonna hop on the Bahn um, to Puppetal, yeah, Schwebebahn, bro. Ah, I can't wait. I'm gonna be like, like a kid in a candy store, dude. I'm gonna be on the train like, oh my God. But we're probably gonna eat at the next spot. Um, and if not, then Dusseldorf, because Dusseldorf is also on the menu too, so. It's gonna be crazy, man. But Essen was amazing. Amazing impression of, of Essen. Thank you so much. Like this is <laughs> incredible, incredible. All right, so we're actually in Wuppertal now, bro. And like I was saying earlier, I wanted to ride the Schwebebahn and it's right there, the, the monorail, man. I made a whole video on it on TikTok and I'm like, I gotta see it for myself. Now we're in Wuppertal. This is Wuppertal. Yeah, did it just go by? It's right there. It's right there. Oh my God, dude, what? <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> oh my, dude, this is crazy. <laughs> I'm hyped. All right, so we're about to hop on the straight Bavon and I get to see that whole thing myself or whatever, which is cool, because, dude, I, I traveled from Korea to see this, man. Dude, this is crazy. So we're on the straight Bavon. Look at that. Oh my god, dude! <laughs> this is crazy. And then, like, hold on. Best view. <laughs> Literally the best view. For real. Look, it's the other one. <sighs> what? <laughs> Yo, guys, this is huge. This is, this is like my biggest dream for this place, bro. Being on the fucking Schwebebahn, bro. Oh my god. Well, I guess I'll like show you when it takes off, but oh my god. Bro, look! Oh my god! <laughs> this is like low-key scary. 
Dude, I feel like I'm like a superhero flying over traffic right now. Look at this. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> this is exactly like as hype as I thought this was gonna be. I love this, man. I could just sit on here all day. I can't believe we actually wound up in Verpetal Lake <laughs> here. <laughs> what? This is crazy. And then, okay, now I feel safer because we got the platform right here, you know? Like, you saw that? Like, I feel safer with this. But then, like, <laughs> when it, there's no platform, like, holding us down just in case this, like, drops a little bit, bro. Oh, my God. Crazy. But, you know, that's kind of the, the thrill, you know, of riding this Fable bond. You never know, you know? This is insane. Insane. I can't believe it. I went from literally like thinking like, oh, well, what if I, it would be so crazy if I got to ride on the Schwebebahn. I'm on the Schwebebahn, bro, <laughs> right now. I feel like this is such a highlight. It makes the entire city like look 10 times more beautiful, you know? Just just having this, just having this. this is too, I'm sweating right now out of excitement. Like, this is crazy. Oh, oh the water. Is this where the elephant fell? Where did the elephant fall? I think I've had a strong dose of nature today throughout Germany. Like, this is so beautiful. What's kind of like interesting though is looking down, I thought it would just be water and that's it, but it's like water and rocks, you know? Crazy. But the way that the village is set up though, it looks almost like a villa, right? Or like, it, would it be like a villa? Like, they have it in Italy where they're like stacked on top of each other and stuff. This is beautiful, dude. Beautiful. I don't have the words to describe what I'm looking at right now. I know some people are like, oh, dude, it's just Verpidol. Like, why are you so hyped about this? I'm like, have you not, have you not seen this, dude? Oh, my God. <laughs> what? What's not to be hype about? This is insane. I'm not going to lie, the impending fear of falling off of this thing is kind of in my head right now, but I know that's not going to happen. It's just like, what? Come to think of it, the car is very narrow, so the fact that an elephant was able to get on here at some point kind of blows my mind, because it's not, it's spacious enough to have a lot of people in it, but I don't think it could fit an elephant, especially with the placement of the seats and stuff. Like, it doesn't seem like that would be comfortable at all. A dream come true. Dude, a week ago I was talking about hopping on the Schwebebahn, and we just got off of it, and my, my heart's pounding right now. Pounding, like this, was like a, like a, like a, like, you know how people get on the Ferris wheels for the first time and like they get that, that like, you know, adrenaline rush through their body, kind of coursing through their veins. That's kind of what I experience on this. Cause you know, it's cool. You get to see all of the city, right? While you're on the, on the, on the bond. But at the same time, there's like this impending fear that you're gonna be falling into the lake that's underneath you or like on top of cars that are right below you. It's so cool. But honestly, a very interesting way that I view it is like you feel like a superhero. You're looking down, you're like, oh, I'm flying. <laughs> Backwards, <laughs> depending on where you're sitting in the Schwebebahn car, you know? But absolutely love it. If you haven't tried this shiznit, you gotta try it, okay? It's amazing, amazing. So we're gonna walk around, see some stuff. There's a lot of graffiti here, so I, I'm gonna ogle at that, obviously. But um, this was a highlight. Like, I'll never forget this. It's picturesque. On top of that, too, I had no idea that Verpetal had villas over here. Like, it's insane. Like, it, it, they go up the mountain. Like, a lot of houses up the mountain. I didn't know that, but I guess, you know, I got to see that while I was on the Schwebebahn. So, uh, yeah, mind blown right now, and I'm glad I came out here. Thank you, by the way, thank you. Oh my God, <laughs> crazy, 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 crazy. But we're on to bigger and better things. Verpetal, gigantic W, dude, W, W Verpetal, man. I mean, it's, that's why it starts with a Verpetal, man. It's not Lerpetal for a reason. <laughs>
We matter too. Night owls unite. Mm. Holy shit, this is beautiful, man. We're in Dusseldorf, my dude. But look at, I don't know if that's a, another dome or if it's just a church, but it looks beautiful. There's a lot to do out here. It seems, it's, it's big and it seems like every area is like super sophisticated, bro. Like, holy shit. Very like um, upscale, like what you guys were telling me, like a lot of like, seems like wealthy people out here and stuff like that. This is like cologne on steroids, bro. Um, we're in Dusseldorf and like it's as packed as it is as you can see there's a lot of people behind me and everything But the craziest thing is it's not even the weekend, bro. It's Wednesday. It's Wednesday my dude It's Wednesday. It's fucking Wednesday here, and it's still a lot of people are out So that means the weekends go crazy out here, man Also, I was asking about like what makes Dusseldorf stand out like what's one monument people would be like oh, Okay, like you're in Dusseldorf. It's that Rhine Tower over there, bro I keep messing it up, and then I forget how to say it I like wait like five minutes. I'm like, huh? What is it again? <laughs> Look at that sunset is like the sunset hits different, dude. In Dusseldorf. Oh my god. We're at the uh, Dusseldorf Tower, dude. Look at that. That's insane. It's tall as fuck. And this is what makes Dusseldorf stand out. Besides everything else, like there's so much cool stuff. This right here is what we're about to go up, and I'm hype. Right, we've been, this is the whole trip has been about mm, this. <laughs> when we get up there, we have to look down and stuff and see the whole city and everything. I'm so hyped, man. I flew all the way from Korea to see that <laughs> from the USA. Oh my God, we're here right at the top, right at the top. Dude, dude. oh, it's a restaurant. You can eat up here? There's a restaurant. What? What? So this is a restaurant. Dude, look at this. Oh, oh my! Bro, okay, yeah. Dusseldorf wins, dude. Dusseldorf wins. That's the final final blow. This is very bro. We're about to end here at the top of the of the, of the tower. The Dusseldorf like, Tower here, the Rhine Tower. We're gonna grab some food and then we're heading home. We're gonna head back to Cologne, man. Got some uh, sleep to catch up on. <clears throat> Thank you guys so much for watching. Germany has been an absolutely incredible experience and there's a lot more vlogs that we have left from this last trip that I need to show you guys. München Gladbach, my first Fußballspiel, my erst Fußballspiel, and a lot of other experiences. Gamescom was huge. There's a lot of people that I've reacted to over the years that I actually got to meet in person that I know you guys will be very excited about. I got to meet a lot of you guys out there, which was really cool. And it was a wholesome experience and I'll never forget it.